Hey, everybody, we're going to be looking each week at ways that third party things attach into logic and mostly things that I've been curious about over the past few years. This one is one that I've been hesitant to mess with because, frankly, it only works so so. It doesn't do everything that I wish it could do. But it does a couple of the key things that I really need it to do or really want it to do, I guess. But the first thing I want to look at is just simply setting this up. So if you install FL Studio on your Mac using the latest build, you have to restart it so that the system will recognize it. But then under AU Instruments, it'll pop up as an option. Mono, stereo, and a bunch of multi-outputs. And the multi-outputs work just like you would think. I can bring in 25 stereo tracks from FL Studio directly into a multi-track inside Logic. Great, that's that seems to work really perfectly. Uh, we have the ability to run the two side by side, meaning that they're going to tempo sync, that they're going to sample rate sync, and I promise, as long as you don't do anything complicated with that, it does work. I did have one project where the tempo changed and FL didn't know what to do with it. And it also doesn't do well with looping. So when it hits the end of a loop, any audio regions that were playing continue to play. But other than a few little quirks like that, it does seem to work. So here's one use of this that I really like. So we have this, this is what loads up, 16 by two, and it's on my second monitor, so let me drag it over so you can see FL Studio interface. We can shrink it down. And so I now have FL Studio here. When you come into your options under audio, it says VSTI plugin audio output. It's only half accurate. It's not a VST at all, but it's AU. Um, with MIDI, the one thing I was constantly surprised about, we do have the VSTI plug-in MIDI output there at the bottom for the output, but I can't, I don't ever seem to be able to figure out a way to go straight from Logic into uh, FL Studio. That's a little bit of a pain, uh, primarily because I want to be able to have like my MIDI or instrument tracks inside Logic controlling some of the things inside FL Studio. Not a big deal. And that's because I come in and I've used for the input just my main uh, controller for now. I didn't use the IAC driver. That seemed to create total havoc but I just used one of my hardware inputs right here, turned it on, and then it, it seems to work. Okay, so that being said, now, just as an example here, let's close that down. I've got one of my vocal tracks from a song I recently played on a different video, but um, I just pulled the, the lead vocal off. I duplicated it, exported it from Logic, and just dragged it right into FL here on this track. And I did this kind of the old fashioned way. I did it with the MIDI out, uh, which allows me to manipulate the data. I set it to port one um, and I did it to port one so that, let's see, I'm a little bit short on space here, but I'm using this input port number on here. I believe I could do this directly from the MIDI as well. So I could come into MIDI settings I think I could choose which port here, but either way, it, it gets there routed. I have MIDI turned on for pitcher. Um, well, not anymore. There we go. And now when I play a chord, it's going to harmonize that vocal with the MIDI input. So you can see why I might like this. I wish we had this in Logic. We don't. Um, but now I can come through and we'll push play on Logic just a few bars in advance. Hold down my keys. Was a story from my youth. Was a story that was truth. 
and I knew that it was here. So the lower notes didn't I register. Heard it once oh, it see? stayed for life. Let's stop that. Okay, so that brings me up to one of the other things. You, the transports don't work both ways. If I push stop in FL, logic keeps on going. But if I push stop in logic, FL does stop. So that's kind of our master transport. So how did I route all of this? Well, inside here, when I'm using just the, the simplest one, what we have, let's pull this over, FL1. Now here are the other ones we could use, and it'll add more if we had chosen one of the bigger instances of that. But if I wanted to, I could route all the individual channels out different FL numbers here, and those would show up out here in our mixer. So let me show you, for instance, with eight stereo, eight mono, and you're gonna see what happens here. All of that is still there. Uh, it didn't like close or erase it. Um, let's do, so now when I push play, Okay, let's get it to the right place. I'm not looking very carefully yet. So right here, push play. What was a story from my youth? What was a story that was true? And I knew that it... It looks like we went a little off sync when I did that, so we may have to reopen that. But what we would do is if I wanted this particular vocal to come out a different place, I would just come over to the individual channel and I would probably start by taking the master and just saying none for that. Not have it go through the mixer, but then have it go through each individual track, go through a different op output. In Logic, I go to my mixer and I can open up all of these. So this is the FL1, FL2, FL3, FL4, five, six, even though the numbers don't line up, this is the first, second, third, fourth, etc. So now that vocal would come out here and I could process it completely separately. So I could essentially take all of the things in FL Studio, all the tracks, and create a mix from them inside Logic. So if you have a song that's in FL and you want to actually do a mix in Logic, well, that's one way of doing it. There's not always a, a good reason to do that. I mean, there are a few different effects which I really like in Logic over FL, but um, there's not a, a huge reason for that. If I want to actually record uh, stuff inside FL while it's sunk to Logic, you can do that. Um, but it's definitely, there's some quirky latency things happening. Um, so let's go back into pattern mode for a minute. You can actually see right now, for some reason, it is registering as 140. I'm going to pull that over for a second. Oh, maybe it's because I switched to pattern mode. No, it says 140 still. Let's see if it actually hits the right points. No, it's in... Okay, so you do want to be careful uh, with all of this is that you have the tempos lined up. It's supposed to do that automatically, but it doesn't. And so there are, like I said, a few different quirks with this where you don't know exactly what's happening or uh, you just want to double check that all the settings are the same. So is it possible? Yes. Is it supposed to work? Yes. Does it always work? Mostly. I think there's a lot of promise here, and I love that they've even made this available at all because there are a few things like pitcher, which I just love the sound of. Um, I can use some of the other instruments we have in here. So, I mean, we have a number of different things that we just don't have the same sounds inside Logic. So that's kind of nice. If you like the MIDI sequencing for certain things, I mean, you can definitely do that in there. And uh, it 
it definitely works. For instance, let's do the standard 808. And, you know, we have in that case those sounds and the functionality of the step sequencer here and with all of the bells and whistles. And now we don't really need this because in logic we have our own step sequencer. But uh, there are still some people who might be nostalgic for the way FL Studio works. And now you can incorporate that directly into your projects. So you don't have to choose between the two. You can use both of them. Okay, that's all I want to show today. Just a little demonstration of the craziness that is using FL Studio inside Logic. It's imperfections, but also, I mean, who else is doing that? Nobody else has offered up their DAW as a plugin like this. Um, with, I mean, reason over the years has done it, but it didn't used to be such a powerful DAW. Pro Tools would never do it. Ableton, I mean, there's ways you can connect all of them, but this is pretty cool. Okay, that's it for today. Hope you're having a good week. Hope you enjoyed this look at FL Studio Inside Logic. And uh, go out and go crazy this weekend with it. Talk to you later.